This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Engine oil and filter change. Pull the hood release lever located under the steering column. Slide the hood safety latch, then raise the hood upwards. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Then raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Being careful not to touch the hot exhaust components, position a drain pan under the engine oil drain plug. Wearing protective gloves is highly recommended. Remove the drain plug. Remove the oil filler cap to allow the oil to flow more easily. Allow the old oil to drain into the pan. Discard the sealing washer. A new one must be used during installation. Wipe off the drain plug with a clean rag. Any small metal particles clinging to the plug would immediately contaminate the new oil. Also clean the area around the drain plug opening on the oil pan. Reinstall the drain plug. Tighten the drain plug to the specified torque setting. Reposition the drain pan so that it's underneath the oil filter. Loosen the oil filter by turning it counterclockwise with a filter wrench. Any standard filter wrench will work. Once the filter is loose, use your hands to unscrew it from the block. Just as the filter is detached from the block, immediately tilt the open end up to prevent the oil inside the filter from spilling out. Empty out the oil from the old filter into the drain pan. Using a clean rag, wipe off the filter mounting surface on the block. Also make sure that none of the old gasket remains stuck to the mounting surface. It can be removed with a scraper if necessary. Smear some clean engine oil on the rubber gasket of the new filter, then screw it into place. Over tightening the filter will damage the gasket, so don't use a filter wrench, tighten the filter by hand only. Remove all tools and materials from under the vehicle, being careful not to spill the oil in the drain pan. Lower the car to the ground, unblock the wheels. Add new oil of the specified type to the engine through the oil filler neck. Use a funnel to prevent oil from spilling onto the top of the engine. Pour four quarts of fresh oil into the engine. Wait a few minutes to allow the oil to drain into the pan. Pull out the oil dipstick and wipe all of the oil away from the end of the dipstick with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube until it seats completely, then pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. Once the oil level is at or near the H mark, fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap hand tight. Start the engine and allow the new oil to circulate. Allow the engine to idle for about a minute. While the engine is running, look under the vehicle and check for leaks at the oil pan drain plug and around the oil filter. If either one is leaking, stop the engine and tighten the plug or filter until it is secure. Turn the engine off and wait a few minutes. Then recheck the level on the dipstick. With the oil circulated throughout the engine and the filter now completely full, Add oil as necessary to bring the level back up to the H mark. Fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it securely by hand. 